Hi, my name is Elizabeth. I'm representing the culture of Nigeria. I was born in Nigeria. I came here a few years ago. And uh, the main reason um, I'm doing the African Day is that I want to share my culture with everybody. I'm making a special deal today called Igusi Soup and Pangulia, which is very important in Nigeria. Every male and female eat that food every day. It's like without that food, something is wrong. I have all the ingredients. We have pepper, tomatoes, crayfish. We're going to use chicken and beef today to cook it. And it's very delicious. So let's try. This is red oil. I'm going to put two spoons. In here, I have the blended tomatoes, bell pepper, onion, and uh, very spicy pepper. So when it's a little bit warm, you just add it to it. And let it cook for five minutes. You keep stirring. So you can, you can keep it covered for a few minutes. The next thing you add is your fish. This is dried fish from Nigeria. It's called oligun, but here it's called catfish. If you're here, you can smell, you can perceive the odor of the fish. It smells really good. The next, you add your beef and chicken. Already pre-cooked. Normally, we have different kinds of fish, meat in this soup. But today I'm just using uh, beef and I'm using a hot chicken, Nigerian chicken. It's called fowl chicken. So let it steam for about five minutes. Here I have a, a spoon, a teaspoon, two teaspoons of crayfish. And I have maggi to taste. And I have seasoning salt. Without this, there's no igusi. So this is igusi. It's pumpkin seed blended into fine texture. If you can see, the texture is really fine. The next we're going to do, we're going to put all the seasoning. And you stir. Keep stirring. Now we're going to add the egusi. So this is about two and a half cups of egusi. And here we have plain water. This is two cups. Now we're going to add salt to taste. So we let it cook for about five minutes. The last thing we're going to do is put in the spinach. This is just chopped spinach. So while we're waiting for the egusi to be cooked, we are going to make something called pounded yam. So in this pot, we have a boiling water. So this is pounded yam. It's real yam made from um, just like any other yam, but it's blended and fried a little bit. It's pre-cooked. So it's very slow, so you take your time and it just goes slowly. It is really, you can feel the texture. Make sure you wash your hands very well because you're going to use your hands to eat it. So this is pounded yam, a goosey, made with spinach, beef, fish and chicken.